Hi, I'm Ben Cardle. I just got done filming my At The Table lecture. But you're essentially going to choose a name, you're okay. going to choose a weapon, and you're going to choose a location. And you can feel free to shuffle them if you want, because you know they're not in a uh, yeah. So we'll give them a shuffle. Can you, can you remember them all, first of all? Yes. Okay, so I want you to hand them back to me face down one at a time. Okay. Help me remember them, actually. I'll put them in the same way around as well. Okay. Yeah. So now, uh, playing the part of the detective, I'm going to assess the evidence. Okay. Okay. So if you could just say that name over and over again in your head, okay? Just keep saying it. All right, Natalie, Natalie. Yes? Yeah. Natalie, good. Okay, so now with the weapon then, I want you to just imagine using it on me. Okay. Oh, okay, so that shows your sympathetic side. So immediately that shows that it's not too much thought gone into it. So it wouldn't be something like poison that you would have to plan out to secretly. I think, I think this is our murder solved. It's very unfortunate that you're gonna go down for doing in poor Natalie with a broken bottle in the casino. Uh, it was. It was. Thank you, well Ernie. Done. You're going to learn some incredible things. You're going to learn how to memorize a deck of cards in apparently seconds. If you would just shuffle them. There are people that get paid professionally to memorize cards as part of the World Championships, and they can do it in, I think, under 30 seconds. That's pretty cool. I'm not that good, but I'm, I'm just going <coughs> to deal them down like this as we go. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and uh, I'm going to tell you the order of the pictures before they come out. Um, so the first one up, do you remember? Picture? Uh, Jack of Clubs. Yeah. It was. After the Queen of Hearts was the, uh, the Jack of Diamonds, I believe. Then the King of Hearts. Um, and the King of Hearts was the King of Spades, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And then the King of Spades went down to the Jack of Spades. And then after the uh, Jack of Spades was the Queen of Diamonds, followed by the Jack of Hearts, I think, if we've got them all. Yeah. Jack of Hearts. Jack of Hearts, and there we go. And that's, that's, that's the whole picture. Thank you. This is material and performances and elements and effects I've done day in, day out. For like the past 10 years, you're gonna have things that are easy to do right out of the box that are super, super powerful, knock your socks off mentalism type performance. The reason people tend to pick certain specific playing cards over others is because they can relate to them in some way. Okay, so I want you to do a similar thing with how you choose a playing card. Uh, there's a few that apply to me, but I'm gonna just, go just with this choose one. Just choose one. Okay. Okay. And then we're just gonna pop it back. Happy? Yep. You don't wanna change? Nope. Would you be the type of person that would, uh, you'd think of a, one of the black colored suits, more than likely a spade? Okay. Yeah? So I'm going to make a, a quick jot down. So for the first time in a loud, clear voice, what was the card you were thinking of? The nine of spades. And that is exactly what I've got. Nine of spades. Nine of spades. I'm so excited that you, you all get to share in the madness that is my creations and the things that I've been thinking about all of these years. I can't wait to see you all there.